That is my dad's like word for word, exact word my dad has said my entire life about riding a motorcycle. Like literally word for word. Riding a motorcycle is the closest you will get to flying without leaving the ground. Yeah. And it's so true. Sometimes I think about it and I'm like, oh, it's almost like sad that some people just don't know the freedom. Because it really is freedom. Like, I was talking to a customer at work yesterday who I ended up uh, giving a ride home. And uh, she was just saying that, like, she's been trying out a full face helmet for the last little bit. But, um, that she she doesn't know if she really likes it or not because of the way that it separates her from her environment like she misses having the wind in her face and ears and everything like that and uh, I've never used a full face helmet for that reason actually other than the fact that I just feel like it would make my head really heavy <laughs> Um, yeah, that's like the biggest reason why I have never used one because I just feel like it would separate me too much from everything that's happening around me and like, honestly, like I don't even want to listen to music when I'm on my bike. I want to hear what's happening behind me or beside me or, you know, like, I, and I want to hear my bike and the sound of my bike and the wind. I actually really love that sound and I've said it before like it's almost to me like I've never been in one of those sensory tanks where you're like laying in the water but I have been in a pool or the lake or whatever and just floated there and let my ears kind of just be under the water and just all the sound of the world around me is just like muffled and kind of just disappears and it's relaxing and that is what I compare with riding my motorcycle with the wind in my ears and the sound of my motor under me um, that's what I would compare it to it's just that same feeling of having your ears underwater and uh, yeah, just being able to just muffle out the world around you. And it is, it's therapeutic. And the other day, actually, I was riding and I uh, went to do the little wave, the biker wave, <laughs> or whatever people call it. And uh, I was ended up like actually waving to some kid in his shorts and t-shirts on his moped. I thought it looked like a motorcycle from a distance, but anyway, I just thought it was so funny because like this kid just like didn't wave back. Probably was just like shocked. And uh, yeah, probably the first time he's ever had a wave from someone on a Harley. But then I was thinking about it too and I was like, man, like all those like scooter kids, all these people who ride their scooters and their mopeds and stuff like that around, they all are like more hardcore than the guys who won't ride if it's like a little bit drizzly or kind of chilly or whatever or snowy. <laughs> and then you get like you'll see all these like young kids or these scooter moped riders and they're out there like in all kinds of crazy weather just like you know without even the proper gear riding in the rain and like only able to go like 30 miles an hour because that's top speed for their moped but they're just like yeah, riding through winter conditions and all that, and I just, I'm not gonna mention that stop sign, but anyway, yeah, it's just, it's so funny. So, those scooter kids, I think, deserve a good old biker wave every now and again. Not to say I'm a biker, I'm a 
girl on a motorcycle. <clears throat> I'm not a biker. I wouldn't call myself that. I don't do biker things. I don't even know. Like, what even... What even makes a person a biker? Like, I know guys who are, like, bikers, you know, like, club guys or whatever. But <clears throat> everyone else, if you're not, like, part of that 1%, then you're just an enthusiast, right? And that's just kind of how I think about it anyway. If anything, I'm yeah, a motorcycle enthusiast as much as I hate the way that sounds. But I don't know if I'm a biker. I don't know what classifies you as one. I guess maybe it's about the passion that you feel for it. Where like, I, I can't imagine my life without a motorcycle in it. I can't imagine my life without a Harley in it. And, I want to work on my bike. I want to be the one to fix it. I like will spend the last of my money getting parts from my bike if that's what's needed so I can get on the road. So I don't know, is that what classifies you as a biker? Can't imagine my life without my bike. Some old man was at my work when my bike was parked out there. I didn't go out there to talk to him because I was working, but I guess he was eyeing up my bike and he uh, had made mention to one of the guys that I work with that he he would offer me $60,000, 60 to $70,000 for my shovel head. And I don't even have to think about it. It's just a straight no. And you know what, honestly, even if someone were to come to me and offer me a million dollars, I still would probably say no. Like honestly, because I would, I feel like I would regret that for the rest of my life. Okay, maybe if it was like two or three million, and I know that I could, care of like a lot of people that are in my life then I would probably consider it but that would only be because of the fact that I know I'd be able to help out some people that could probably really use the help and that would be the only reason but even then I don't know if I would sleep at night because like I would never be able to do anything to have this bike again or anything that would ever compare to it. Yeah, so I don't know, you know? Some things are just, you can't put a price on them, no matter what. Yeah, so, I think everyone else can keep their money and I'll keep my bike. Anyway, home time. Nobody behind me. This corner sucks because people just fly up this road like idiots. Oh, okay. There's Tiny waiting for me. Like always, if you like what you see, or if you just like me, or even if you don't like me, but you like my bike, then like this video, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little notification bell if you want to be notified every time I put a new video out. And like always, my YouTube people, I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace.